Great cars on board fans. So Carlos was nice enough to let me drive his BMW 2002. I'm just gonna test drive it uh, right here in this parking lot. We're at the Rose Bowl real quick. Um, I've never driven a 2002 and it's a car that I want in the future. So I just wanna test drive it to see what it's like to experience real quick. We'll probably just get it first and second go in circles pretty much. So uh, let's go for a ride. So Carlos was nice enough to let me drive his BMW 2002. What year was it again? 76. 76. And here's the keys that he has. This is this is a this is a very cool moment. Uh, I'm actually really excited. So uh, turn you it in. You've driven a Volkswagen. It's it's the pedaling is like similar. Okay. Never driven a Volkswagen. Oh, okay. Though. <laughs> okay. So uh, it has an electronic fuel pump, huh? Yes. So on the on position for a little bit. No, you're good now. It's warmed up. You're good. Okay. So, turn it on. So she's on. And then there's a reverse. Is that, is that true, strip knob? Yep. I guess. I think it's like a 350Z reverse is like way over here. So yep. I'm, I'm assuming it's go like that. Because yep. this is passed. So that's the first gear right that's there. Right. Put the e-brake down. And you said the clutch engages low or high? Uh, I would say midpoint. Midpoint, yeah. okay. All right, so let's see if you this. you want to do donuts, you're fine. <laughs> Oh, no power steering. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that's something I'm sure you don't miss. Oh, okay, the clutch is way up there. Okay. You feel it high? I feel it mid for me. I feel it kind of high. Maybe because I'm a little taller and I haven't moved the seat, maybe. Wow, this is cool. It feels like a bug, but with power. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did drive a bug at one point. I did, actually. I don't know what year it was, but it was one of those old ones. So we're in first gear. Going yeah, around. when you slow down, power steering gets. All right. Man, this is beautiful. There's so much light coming in this car. I think that's what makes it cool. What was that? Second? Yeah. You know, I think I was in third a while ago. Wow. This Nardi is nice. The car feels like it handles. There's a little bit of play in the steering wheel. I can feel it. There is a little bit. There's about, I would say, two to three finger play in it. Okay. And then, this is not a four-way stop, is it? No. Just thus. This car is turning, I think. As soon as you slow down, the power steering is gone. Why is it that you don't have the power steering? Is that um, just because of the modification of the motor. Okay. Um, I had to do a little bit more of a cutting and welding to make it fit. Okay. Uh, so I don't, I don't have that experience. Um, I was planning to possibly do it in the future, but I'm so used to driving this car like this that yeah, it, you know, it's not. A discomfort for me it's, so. it's not that bad to be honest uh, a lot of Miata guys do that to get more play of the car right and I feel like this does the same thing I mean once you're on the road open you're good man Based uh, ratio on the body, so it, 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 you could feel the torque, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a fun car to drive. And you can heel toe, you can hear me. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> now, does this steering wheel, does it, is it? It doesn't, 
No, it's fixed, man. It's a fix, okay. Yeah. I do feel like it's a little high for my comfort. Yeah, you know what? I think um, maybe switching the seats out, adjusting your seat. Maybe a little higher seat, huh? Yeah. Because it's in a really high position. I like it like an inch lower. I know, it's like something you, you get used to from driving other cars. Oh yeah, it's nice. Well, I just wanted to do a quick little review and drive the car. Um, that was fun. Uh, this is a cool part about doing uh, documentary films with people. And letting they let me sometimes ask and they let me test drive the car. I think this is the first time I film it. Uh, most of the cars I've driven, just to see what it's like. But I really like this. Uh, the best way I could explain it, it's like driving a convertible that's hardtop because there's so many windows. And I told Carlos earlier that it reminds me of a fishbowl. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. And that's pretty much what the car, it's just a, it's a nostalgic feeling. I drive the car in memory of my son, he's my co-pilot, you know, uh, as a dad, I kind of just, my son's with me every every minute of the way as I build these cars and drive these cars and every time I get compliments on these cars, I tell people, you know, they're not my cars, they're my son's car. Eventually, as he got older, they would be his cars from my Corolla 86 to his Nissan to any future projects.